Hey, welcome to Drinking with the Fat Guys. Big Fat Will. George Sean. Swedish Joe is here. And we are drinking a D9 Brewery. We will start with this Sistema Natura. Then move on to this Superstitious Pigeons. Then move on to the Infinite Improbability. Move to the Pinch of Salt. Over to the Brown Sugar Brown Cow. And end on this Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Just because it's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Say something. <laughs> Real lovers. <laughs> so now we'll move on to this Sistema Natura. Hey. 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 It's pinkish. Mm. Pinkish, huh? Let's more grapefruit, not yeah. pink. Ruby red? Yeah. yeah. And it's oh, sour. Yeah. That's your sour. The fruity sour, though. Yeah. And it's sour. Oh. Oh, oh wow. wow. God. That, that was more sour than the lemon juice. Wow. I mean, the aroma really tricked me because I, <laughs> I thought it would be more fruit in it. Fruitness to it, but this is pure sour. All it is, I mean, it's cranberry supposedly, right? Mm -hmm. So it's cranberry, then it's soured. Holy mm -hmm. crapsicles. Wow. That, I'm now, so that's glad sour. you came along. To help out with that. <laughs> What's sumac? Yep. No idea. Sumac? No clue. It's red. All right, well, if you know what sumac is, tell us. It's too far from the world. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's sour. It's sour. Well, it's sour. Alright, and now into Superstitious Pigeons, a sour ale brewed with peanut butter and raspberry. If you wouldn't believe it. Show us how you open this. In the proper way this time. Damn, one try. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, one try. <laughs> Well, yellow. very hazy yellow. Yep. More like a regular beer. No, no. 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 Oh, oh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Second. It's full peanut butter and then maybe a little fruit. Maybe. This is solid me, it's just, peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And Will uses a lot of peanut butter at home. Oh, <laughs> actually taste sour peanut butter. That is Holy crap. absolutely terrible. I usually don't say that, but that is just, that is just what the Spaniard was called El Terrible. You're like, this is the worst night ever. <laughs> oh. All right, so it's peanut butter. Yeah, extremely yeah. sour peanut butter and some. Yeah, well, but no, no, the peanut butter, it's, like, it's almost like you poured something on regular peanut butter. Because the peanut butter tastes like peanut butter. Yeah, it does. But the it's not like the peanut butter soured. So, no, it's 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 like you had like you remember the candy warheads? Yes. Like, really yes. sour. Like you, like you had a peanut butter sandwich. In yeah, yeah. No, you had a warhead in your mouth and like just decided to like oh, cut like, the I edge with a peanut, peanut butter money. sandwich. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if uh, our viewing public knows what a warhead is. Huh. Possibly not. You should go check out warheads. They need to pay us. No, for that. that was that was a horrible candy. I loved it. And then how did you, why did you love this? Yeah. Or all these sour beers? Because I hate peanut butter. And I don't eat sweets now. Or sours. <laughs> did you drink it? What about like from Chinese food, sweet and sour? No. Hate it. You know what? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not for me. No. Alright, and now on to this Defying Gravity Infinite Improbability. Remember all that with some purple potatoes in it. <laughs> oh, it looks like a neon green. Yeah. Extra special. Never seen that color in beer before. Huh. A little sour, but not as sour as the other ones. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It's like something from Star Trek. Yeah, or Star Wars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. Alright, let's try it. It's 
weird too. Yeah. It's not sour. No, no it's, it's not. not sour. I, get, I thought it was a, you know, maybe, but. It's not bad. It's not good. It, it's like green jello. Uh, yeah, it's so well, it's a jello shot. You know, what's fun? <laughs> that's actually probably a good description because it starts out like you think it might be sweet, but you do realize no, no, it's not sweet. Yeah, and it's like it just kills it. Like. And then all of a sudden, there's like there's an alcohol burn, but it is what fourteen percent. Yeah. So I mean, there's an alcohol burn, and, and if fourteen percent has to be sweet too. You think, but again, try it again. It's a jello shot. That's what they serve me at Taco Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a beer. <laughs> yeah, it was a beer. I mean, look, there's a little sweetness when it starts, but it disappears instantly. And I think it's because whatever's in here, there's a sweetness in the tip, and then as soon as it hits the back of your tongue, it's it gone. changes. It's yeah. gone. This is really interesting. I mean, I wouldn't buy a six pack, but it's very interesting. See, yeah, it's sweet in the front. That's it. Yeah. But it it's also a non-beer. Yeah, this is a good. This is a fun beer. Yeah, this is, I would for the exactly, whole. Uh, I would buy it just to impress people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. this exactly. This is funny, right? My Romulan wine. Yeah, you know, exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 I mean, this is a. Uh, I mean, again, it's fun. It is a novelty. Yeah. Um, it's not what it I is. mean, it's novelty. Is, that's exactly what it is. And it also is drinkable. Actually. Yeah, in comparison to the last yeah. one, also. Comic-Con, like this is... Oh, yeah, you yeah. walk around with that, people are like, oh, what is that? Well, either way, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's the word for it. All right, and now on to the pinch of salt, a white chocolate pretzel guzzle. The man on the front looks quite happy about it. He looks jolly. He looks like a gnome. Excellent job, sir. Hey, see orange. Yeah, it's your orange. first time. <laughs> Remember my burger. Mm. Yeasty. Yes, Hold on. Orange. Yeasty, but yeasty. Yeah. Yeah. Smells like a cat box. <laughs> I guess so it's sour. Middle. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting the chocolate. So the same, it's, it's sour, 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 right at the top. Chocolate's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your butts are wired. <laughs> no, I mean, once the so sour f fades away, yeah, chocolate. yeah, chocolate back of the tongue. I don't know if it's white chocolate, but I can taste it. No, it might be white chocolate because that's the way it, it, it does not even the cocoa, it's just yeah. cocoa butter. No, no gear going. I don't get any of this pretzel. Let's see. I think that's maybe just, it's a little bit salty. No, I think somewhere. well, it's a little salty, but I don't get any of the bread. No, 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 no. I think that's just marketing nonsense. Well, the smell was yeasty. Yep, that's true. Maybe, maybe. Well, just... but the thing is that you don't have a lot of yeast in pretzels because they're. Uh, Boiled and fried. So well, it's just dough. All right. It's a, it's a, a, a nutum, right? I have to believe you. Is Thank you, pretzel genie. Yep. Wait, why, <laughs> why, why would there be yeast in a pretzel? Bread? But it's like other unleavened bread. You don't need the yeast. You do need something. It's just dough. All right. Well, you know what? Great way to stay in shape. America! America! I think this is devolving. <laughs> All right, now onto this brown sugar brown cow. <laughs> but the yeah. emphasis on the end? Like it's a question? Oh, wow. A skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, it's good enough. It's amber. For brown cow, it's yeah. very amber. Yeah. <laughs> I expect this would be more like a stout kind of color. You're gonna hate this. Oh yeah. It smells oh. like peanut butter. You can? It's not my bag, baby. I said that before trying it. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like peanut butter. It doesn't nope. taste it. Okay, okay. Nothing. Huh. It tastes like a Yuhu beer. Yeah. It's chocolate milk beer. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. For the Swedes, oh boy. 
Oh boy. <laughs> it bubbles. It's actually kind of nice. I mean, it's two dimensional. It's this oh boy or yoohoo flavor and this malty beer. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. So, so it's not a it's not a stellar beer. It's just it's kind of nice. I, I would take this over a stout in the wintertime. But you don't like stouts. That's why I would take this over it. I mean, I, it's it's kind of like a similar flavor, but this tastes I'm better. I'm getting that. Ooh, this would be great in an Irish car bomb. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I agree. Okay, all right. All right, now on to Head of the Horseman, an Imperial Pumpkin. I've been looking forward to this all evening. This is a kind of amber color. Yeah, it's a solid amber. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's interesting. This is very interesting. It's a sweet. Sweet cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh, yes, yeah, so much cinnamon. Cardigan? <laughs> that too. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Cardigans. <laughs> okay. I like the aroma. It's not a sweater beer. Sweater weather though. <laughs> it is a sweater weather beer. Oh, well, I don't. Hmm. So it's malty. Pumpkin, malty, Pumpkin, yeah. Malty, yeah. malty, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon. Yep. What was the rest? Cardigan, clove, and cardigan. I don't uh, get the clove. I don't get the clove at all. Not at all. It's cardamom. The The sweater is. <laughs> this taste of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. That's like the. That's what hits you in the back yep, of the tongue. Yep, yep. <laughs> no, I don't get the clove at all. I, I, I would say the pumpkin and the nutmeg. Oh yeah, nutmeg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get the nutmeg too. That's what I'm missing. Yeah. Now I, I'd say it's a solid pumpkin and nutmeg. I don't know about the clove. The malt is there though. The malt is there. Oh no, yeah, the, the malt. Is, yeah, the malt's dominant. No, yeah, 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 malt definitely. Yeah. And I don't think the cinnamon is number two. This is interesting. Look, I mean, in terms of pumpkin beers, there are several really good pumpkin beers out there. One of my absolute favorites is the Dogfish Head. I think yeah, they do a perfect mm -hmm. pumpkin. Yeah. Um, but this is probably somewhere in the middle. It's not a bad one. No. Uh, I do like that. The, what is it? Ten percent. So I do like that it means business, but it's a it's a sweater beer. Yeah. Alright, so out of the D9 brewery, I mean we had a, a good array of beers, but I think overall this the green one was my favorite. Um the other ones are just these two were too sour for me. This one was sour and kind of interesting, and these two were kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> interesting description. Yep. Uh, the Imperial was the best for me, the Imperial Pumpkin. But again, I like a pumpkin beer. This was the second for me, and this was the third for me, uh, just because it was interesting. Yeah. I can't say, I, again, it was pure novelty. Uh, these were way too sour. This was okay, but only okay for a sour. Yeah. yeah. But I prefer this one. I would, oh, just because it was green and looked funny and it's a funny beer, I would say uh, that's not number two for me. And, ah, number three, together. Yeah. <laughs> because I agree totally with you, it's, those are too sour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brutal, yeah. brutal. brutal. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out with the fat guys. Uh, thumbs up for like and um, ring a little bell for notifications. So good night, dear lovers. Yes.